Hello and welcome to Tall Guy Films. Today we're talking about planning the cinematography of a short film. New, interesting, random, tall guy films. So there's really two tools that a cinematographer will use in the pre-production stage of planning a short film. That is a storyboard and a shot list. Now, most of you are probably familiar with storyboards, but probably fewer of you are familiar with shot lists. But I would actually say that a shot list is more important than a storyboard, and that if you were to only do one of those things, you should do a shot list instead of a storyboard. But both tools can be useful, so let's go ahead and talk about both of them. So to start out with, let's talk about a storyboard. So this right here is a fairly basic storyboard template. Basically, the way it works is you've got a box and then a little box beneath it. So in this box, the larger one, what you do is you draw basically what your scene will look like. And then in the box below, you write a description of that shot. So in most, most of the time when a storyboard is done, the person doing the storyboard will just draw the, scene, draw the first shot, and they'll use the next box for the next shot. Now, personally, I prefer to do it slightly differently. When I do it, I'll draw the first frame of the shot in the first box, and in the second box, I'll draw the last frame of that shot. And that gives you more of a idea of how the shot moves and changes rather than just a written description. Because the point of a storyboard is to allow you to visualize what a shot will look like. So for example, uh, my first shot in my film, Kansas Sunshine, is going to be of a character walking into a grocery store. So to start that out, I might say, all right, here is my character. And I should know that I'm not a very good artist at all, so this is probably going to look pretty bad. Uh, that's too big. <laughs> all right, let's, let's go like halfway between, like there, right there. And so this is going to be a mid shot, so it's going to be from about the waist up. And so our entrance to the grocery store is going to be like here-ish. And they're going to be walking through it. And then we'll have other stuff in the back. Move out of the way so you can see that. And so the next scene, or the next, or the final frame of the shot, I mean, the character is still going to be there. But they're, now they're going to be through the grocery store. So we might be like, oh, right here, there's going to be some shelves and stuff. And... I don't know, maybe there's another person standing here. So stuff like that. So in this frame, they're walking through the door, and in this frame, they're now past the door and in the grocery store. And then so for the next shot, I'll do the same thing here, here, and here. And I actually, most storyboard templates will actually be three wide, as in there will be three um, frames on each line of the storyboard. But I actually specifically looked for one that has four that way. The way I do storyboards, it makes more sense. So now in the description, because I'm using two frames for each shot, uh, I'll write the description of the first, uh, the description of the shot in the first box, and in the second box, I'll actually write some technical information about the shot. So for example, I might write, um, let's see, Matt which is the character name, walks through doorway into grocery store. And then over here, I'm going to put some information like, this is a handheld mid-shot, and mid-shot is how it's framed, and MS is short for mid-shot. And then I'm going to put also some, like I said, technical information. Like for this shot, I'll probably shoot this with a 40 millimeter focal length, 400 ISO, um, 1 50th um, shutter speed, and then um, aperture of probably, probably like 4. And this is, all this information is just guessing. I'm not positive that this will be my exposure information, but I'm basically just writing it down, guessing, 
to get kind of an idea of what my exposure is going to be so that I'll have some frame of reference for about what my depth of field will be uh, and stuff like that. So so that's um, 4.1 I think is the right number. I don't, I don't remember the aperture numbers very well. So yeah, so I'm going to do that and for all the other shots I'm going to do that. Now shot lists are more technical and they're less creative. Storyboards are for visualizing shots. Shot lists are technical raw information and the point of shot lists is that you can take your shot list all the way from the pre-production carry it into production because a shot list is a lot easier to have on set than a bunch of storyboards and then you can also go into post-production with a shot list so you'll take the shot list fill it out in pre-production in production you'll get all the shots and you'll you know check them off as you go and then once you get into post-production you in production you can write down the file name for each shot and then once you get into post-production you can use that information from the shot list to sort and log all of your clips much more quickly. So the shot list is super useful. So here we've got some information at the top. So production title, Kansas, Sunshine, director, Kenneth McLaughlin, and then location, this one's going to be at a grocery store. So here, so we're going to be scene one, the shot one, the shot size is going to be a mid shot, so MS again is short for mid shot. Movement, this is going to be handheld, um, or more appropriately, it'd probably be to put that it's a tracking shot. Uh, interior, this is going to be an interior shot. Time of day, um, day. And the shot description, so here again, I'll write down a shot description. Matt enters grocery store and I'll, I might be a little more descriptive here with camera behind and then under the notes I'm going to write down this technical information that I wrote down here so this is going to be 40 millimeter 400 ISO 150th and then 4.1 aperture so Basically, this is just a way to get an idea of what your shots are going to look like and once you're in production to make sure that you get all of the shots you want, make sure you don't miss any shots. Because if you're shooting out of order, it's very, very easy to miss a shot. So once I get into production, um, when I'm shooting, I'll probably put like a check mark here once I get the shot. And I usually like to get three takes of each shot, so I'll probably have three check marks. And then over here on this side, I can write down the file numbers. So like, this might be like one, three, four, seven. Just making up a random file name. But um, that way, when I get into editing stage, I'll have um, I'll know immediately what file goes with each shot. And I, I might take multiple takes of each shot, so I might have multiples here. So yeah. But that's pretty much it. And a lot of times when people start out making short films, what they'll do is they'll write the script and then they'll fi find a place to shoot their script and then they'll go shoot their script. And they won't take any of the time to do the pre-production planning, which is so important to do a good short film. So things like storyboards and shot lists, as well as some other stuff which I'll get into in some other videos, those things are immensely important to pulling off a successful short film. Anyway, that's it for this video. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If not, feel free to hit the dislike button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. And if you want to see more videos about the pre-production planning of my next short film, Kansas Sunshine, please subscribe.